Hi everyone. Well, you can all work out where I am. I'm in Grand Central Station. That's me as proof. That's my cousin Ryan Patel. You may have seen him on CNN. You might have seen him on CNBC. You'll have seen him on TV. He knows everything about corporate America. And I say this because he's got his own show uh, with uh, branded by HP. HP in the moment with Ryan Patel. Exactly. Shooting out of the garage where it kicked off. Sorry, you know you got to say it with the mic. You got to hold the mic. Okay. Just go straight into it. Shooting out of where the birthplace of Silicon Valley. So I mean, it's just pretty fun to see all the stories. Uh, and, and 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 tell me who you just interviewed for that show. Uh, as I'm off camera, you can tell I'm not a professional camera person. But this is going to be great for my audience. This is going to all my social media. No, we, we had the first episode was with the CEO, Enrique, Lor Enrique Lores um, of HP. The second episode was CEO of Zoom. The third episode is CDO, Leslie from HP. And the stories, the human stories, right? You see, you know, HP CEO, one of the few Latino um, executive CEOs of a company, really down to earth. And you've got the CEO of Zoom, who's Visa got rejected like seven, eight times. Founder of Zoom, publicly traded. I mean, just good stories. And Tommy Ryan, what are the top tips? I mean, you see all this corporate stuff. My audience is into investing. They're also entrepreneurs. They're also a group of young people who want to do better in uh, their careers and, and, and so on. You used to be at Pinkberry. You're in charge of their global relationships and partnerships and franchising that whole business out. So tell me some of the things that you're seeing from the corporates that you meet, the CEOs that you've mentioned, uh, and, and what lessons there are for, like I say, my audience. Yeah, I think what we, we're going to see, and this is, I mean, I don't know if you call it a trend, for the last five years, everyone's talking about data, 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 data. But what do you do with the data? Actually, know, do your research and an analyze what that means. That's the next step behind it. It's great that you have all the data, but how are you using it? What does it mean to you? So understand the past, understand the present will help you a little bit more predict predictability going forward. So again, I say, it's, everyone says do your homework. Do your homework, but know what the hell the homework means. Okay, and what what, what impressed you most about any of the CEOs you saw? What, what sort of lesser known factor would you say about the CEOs you'd really want to get people to know and understand? Yeah, I, I think part of it is being human. Right, you know, I know people have been using the word empathy and those kind of things. You can't fake that, right? Being yourself, being a great communicator, and really understanding how we are all interconnected. So, you know, people say it's people first, but it's by an individuals first. That's how you start to actually build a connection organization. And in terms of the broader markets, look, we're in Manhattan. We're a stone's throw from Wall Street. Which way do you see corporate America going in terms of profitability, in terms of sales? You come from that world as well. Yeah. What's the future look like for people? You know, I, I think we're going to see we're going to see a lot of you know tra strategies like when you look at supply chain, for example. You know, being more diversi diversified. You know, that's going to be a really important topic. But we are interconnected, Malpris. And you know this from the the UK, in Europe, it matters. It really does matter to the rest of the world what they're doing because it is tied to America. So it'd be very interesting to see how we all come together to have a faster recovery, not just a recovery from the last two years. I think that's a really important point that because we're interconnected, we're in it together. And that, to some extent, cushions the blows. And there is that international trade, which hopefully means you know things won't be too bad. Uh, on a final point, talking about, again, a younger audience in their 20s, what point of advice would you give them? We were talking earlier, you were at Berkeley. You've had this phenomenal career. And like I said, you know, people look at you, if they Google up or look on YouTube at your interviews, uh, whether on CNN or your show. Um, in the moment with Ryan Patel, sponsored by HP, uh, and your LinkedIn learning stuff, yeah, which is great. I mean, what kudos to get that. Put all that together into a nutshell, the advice you'd give younger people getting ahead. Something I didn't do when I was younger, I'll give you that, and I'll admit it, because yeah. I wish I did this more. Building a network, meeting people of quality, and meeting people with different perspectives, you'll be surprised. If you're in your younger 20s, 10 years later, that group of people that you built a relationship with, 
not only will it add value, yeah, it'll add value to your network or maybe to your work, but it'll add value to you person, as a person, be a better leader, be a better person, understanding different perspectives. It's invaluable to do that. Phenomenal. Let's get one where it's both of us together <laughs> so people know. It's my cousin out of California. Uh, there you go. The younger, smarter one. Hey, I'm not on BBC all the time. BBC doesn't call me as often, so come on, BBC. Let's go. <laughs> BBC, you better call. You've heard it now, okay? <laughs> BBC World. You know we are. BBC America. The guy's on every other channel. What's wrong with you, BBC? Come no, on. Yeah, I love BBC. <laughs> so, okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.